Here are things I wish I knew before going to Thailand in 2023. Going to Thailand can be the most incredible experience in your life. There are some things you should know before you go. Before going to Thailand, I've watched tons of videos on YouTube with things you need to know before you go to Thailand. And honestly, a lot of things were kind of outdated and now are quite different. And I made this video to share also some of the things that really shocked me despite watching all of those videos. So let's start. One of the first things that really shocked me about Thailand was the fact that weed is legal. I honestly could not believe it and a lot of my followers also can't believe it but that is a fact. When you get to Thailand, for example Bangkok or Phuket, you're gonna see tons of shops that offer all the possible things like not just joints and brownies but also like you can get shrimps with weed and uh, different kind of cocktails and stuff like that so that is pretty interesting. At the same time, drug laws are quite intense. So for example, carrying class A drugs across the border can result in death penalty and just holding them can result with quite crazy uh, prison sentences as well. So that is not something to mess with. Another thing that was quite shocking for me was the ATM fees. So every time you would like to take cash out of the ATM, you would need to pay 220 bucks, which is like $7 every time you want to take uh, cash. But if you're gonna go to a bank and you take your passport with you, you can get cash without any fees. If you need a taxi, don't hold taxis on the street. Get a taxi app like Bolt or Grab and order taxi like that. Don't let some locals pressure you into getting in their taxis. And this thing really shocked me and now it's one of the most exciting things ever is the fact that they have motorcycle taxis. Motorcycle taxis are a lot cheaper than the regular taxis and it can be like a very incredible and unique experience as well. Basically you can go around the city from like 70 cents or something like that. If possible, rent a motorcycle, that can be very useful here, but you do need to wear a helmet, otherwise you can get a hefty fine and make sure to research the local specifics of uh, driving in Thailand. In Thailand, when it rains, it pours. Even if it's a dry season, it can still rain like crazy sometimes. A lot of tourists are gonna use those uh, plastic raincoats that are like super uncomfortable and it gets really hot in them. But I have this really good raincoat suitable for tropical environment and that has been one of the best decisions going to Southeast Asia because it's just perfect. No matter what you think, you definitely need a sunscreen and you should start with at least SPF 50 and then maybe you can kind of go back to SPF 30. Like, the sun is crazy here, you can get a sunburn really easily and uh, it does a lot of damage to your skin, so no jokes. It was pretty random and you might have heard about it, but maybe in your country it is very cold to get a tan, but generally around this area people try to protect their skin from tan as much as possible. Just a thing to know. In Thailand there is a lot of wildlife, you can see monkeys, frogs, snakes, a lot of things basically. And uh, for most of it it can be a credible experience, but you do need to check out what you should know before interacting with any of them. Like, interacting with monkeys in Thailand can be an incredible experience, but you should also be careful of rabies. When you're in Thailand, you definitely need to visit a night market. Night markets are incredible, they have a huge selection of foods for so cheap, and it's just generally an incredible experience to go through. Even though Phi Islands might be one of the most touristy places ever, it's definitely a must-see despite that, especially Pilei Lagoon. It's so incredibly beautiful that you definitely need to see it. Here's a random fact. Women can't touch monks and can't even sit next to monks on the bus, so that is something to remember. Thai royalty is no joke, so make sure not to disrespect the royalty and do not step on the money. Beware of tourist scams. There are a lot of them around the touristy areas and they often revolve around tuk-tuks and uh, long tail boats and things like that. I can't stress this enough. It's insanely beautiful all around Thailand. It's just a country that you definitely need to visit and explore just all around and see all kinds of incredible views and experiences basically. 
I've seen a lot of people make this mistake about trying Thai massage within the last days of their stay and then they regret it because they could not imagine how good it is. So if possible, go to a Thai massage as soon as possible, maybe even on your first evening or something like that. It is incredible. And when I got it the first time, I felt like I just need it every day. But Beaches in Phuket and Krabi and the surrounding islands are one of the most beautiful beaches on this planet, so you definitely need to see them. Visiting an ethical elephant sanctuary can be a very magical experience that I can definitely recommend. You do need to check out their views before you go and select which one you want to visit. Just what shocked me was the fact just how much spirit you can see from those animals when, when they're free. Which kind of leads me to the next point, and that is when you're interacting with animals in Thailand, you need to be very cautious and considerate about the fact how these experiences impact uh, the animals. There are a lot of experiences in Thailand with animals, and a lot of them don't treat animals nearly as good as you would hope, so you definitely need to consider that. So if you get near monkeys in different locations like uh, Monkey Hill or Big Food or anything like that, then I suggest you hide your stuff. Especially if it's like water bottles and phones or just things you don't want to lose. Uh, they do grab a lot of stuff, uh, like especially if they hear something like crunching, like crunching uh, bags or things like that and they do tend to go for water bottles as well. So I had an interaction with Monkey who tried to steal my souvenir bag and for a lot of people monkeys have stolen their phones, sunglasses, just glasses, uh, airpods and things like that. So it's better to just uh, hide them when you get near them. Before you go to Thailand, make sure to check your travel restrictions. You can do that by using a site called Sherpa Travel, select your passport and travel time just to make sure that there are no changes in COVID restrictions as well as to know if you don't need a visa or anything like that and what the conditions are because those also have changed quite a lot and uh, for example there has been like visa free period for 45 days then switch to 30 days and things like that so you do need to consider that. Before you go, it's also important to research the best time to visit Thailand. That is going to depend on what exactly you want to do, so there is no one correct answer. It's important to follow local etiquette, like for example, dipping your head and holding your hands like this, or to remove your shoes before visiting a home. Before you go to any temples, consider the fact that you will need to cover your shoulders and your knees, and that is very important. Normally, when eating, you're going to be handed a spoon and a fork, no knives. Uh, and uh, for example, eating the iconic fad thai, you're supposed to use the fork to get the noodles and the spoon and then eat noodles with the spoon, actually, because eating with the fork is not considered to be very good. There are some health risks in Thailand that you need to consider, like stomach bugs, mosquitoes, and rabies, so just prepare for that. Saying from personal experience, I would say that you always need to take an antiseptic with you, because it's a good idea to put that in case you cut your skin. Some male travelers and even couples can get approached by sex workers and uh, there are quite a lot of scams around that as well. So it might be a good idea to prepare a firm refusal. While Thailand is considered to be a safe country, uh, the far south near Malaysian borders is quite dangerous. So it might not be a good idea to visit that part of Thailand. Even though there were many things that shocked me about Thailand, both good and bad, uh, I have enjoyed being in Thailand so much. At first I spent a month here and then I came back for another month, so I learned quite a lot. And uh, generally this has become one of my favorite countries as it has a really good tourist infrastructure, it feels very safe. Uh, the roads, for example, by comparison to Bali are a lot better, so it's more suitable for driving and just generally feels very safe. 
Uh, I am very excited about the little weird things that I also see, like for example how much people here enjoy durian but at the same time durian is just not allowed in so many places, so that is very awesome. I love how beautiful this country is, just how many beautiful things you can see here and there's just so much to do here, it's just incredibly exciting. And uh, being able to interact with animals in their natural habitat has been one of the most incredible experiences as well. So I really suggest you visit Thailand, it is incredible. Just do your research and be prepared for some of the things that are quite different than your home. I also prepared more detailed guidelines on my website, so if you want to learn more about Thailand or anything else, then check out my website and the blog below. If traveling the world is something that you dream about, I wish you do that very soon and have a great day.